Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and happy Feast of the Dedication of the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels in Los Angeles, California. Let me ask you a question. When you hear the word church, what do you think of? For many of us, when we hear that word church, we think of the physical church building. And you know, that's okay. It's okay to think that because church buildings play an important role in our lives of faith. And they have for centuries and centuries and centuries going all the way back to our Jewish roots. The, the physical church building is an important place. It's a place that we've set aside for God. It's a sacred place. It's a special place. It's not like any other place. Important things happen only here in this church building, in this sacred place. It, you know, it can, it can sometimes maybe feel a little weird that we uh, have this tendency as Catholics to kind of set things aside for God because in our culture, there's a huge move to just say, well, everything's the same. There, there's no real differences or distinctions between people, between places. Men and women are the same. All cultures are just the same. You know, this place is no different than that place. It's all, we're all just one, right, in, in general. And so the, the distinctions or the true diversity gets lost in, in, in that message and, and in that mix. Well, as Catholics, brothers and sisters, not everything is just the same all the time, especially when it comes to our churches. These are sacred structures, places where heaven, <laughs> literally, heaven comes to earth, for example, in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. And so today, we're rejoicing in our cathedral, this mother church for all the other churches in the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. But brothers and sisters, when we speak of the word church, we shouldn't just think of the physical church buildings in which we worship and give glory and honor to God, because the church also refers to you and to me, members of Christ's mystical body, brothers and sisters in Christ. In our first reading today from St. Paul, as he speaks to the Corinthians, he says, for we are God's co-workers, you are God's field, God's building." God's building. And once again, he's hearkening back to this whole idea that by the power of the Holy Spirit, we become temples of God, not just me personally, but we as a corporate, as a body, uh, unity. So the Holy Spirit unifies us. We truly become like God's temple <laughs> as his people. So, so brothers and sisters, it's both and in this sense. Yes, the church is the physical church structure, but it's also referring to you and to me. We are Christ's temple here and now in this world. So let's go to Mother Mary and ask her to pray for us. Wow, what dignity we have. That, that's actually pretty incredible that we, as God's people, form his church. And may we always be church, right? People who are set aside for the Lord. We've been made holy by the Holy Spirit. We've been sent on mission to go out and to bring as many people as possible into this big happy family, the Catholic Church. God bless you, brothers and sisters.